In this video, we will implement the swipe to delete inside the recycler view. If you have an existing recycler view, go ahead and follow along with me. And if you don't, you can click the link in the video description and go ahead and clone or download this project and open it inside Android Studio. Go ahead and run it and you should see something like this so we just have a list of movies with the title and its year inside the recycler view and when we click or swipe nothing happened to be able to implement swipe to delete we will use what is called an item touch helper callback so let's go ahead and create a class for that new kotlin file or class and should be a class go ahead and call it swipe to delete call back now make it an abstract class abstract class and then you can extend item touch helper dot callback and don't forget this curly braces now we need to override the method and actually we need to override two methods get movement flag and using this method, you will determine the direction of the swipe to delete. So, you maybe only want to delete if the user is swipe from the left, or from the right, or from both sides. You can actually do that right inside this function. Let's go ahead and create a val, call it swipe flag. And then we can call the item touch helper dot left. So if the user swiped the left, or if the user swiped from the right, neither of these two directions, we will return make movement flag, and then we will pass zero and the swipe flag. So we are saying that either swipe left or right we need to make the movement then we need another method and it's called a move and this method you can implement it if you have drag and drop functionality for the recycler view and if you don't you can simply return false and you wouldn't need to do anything else so now we have this callback. How we can attach it to the recycler view? Let's go to the main activity and let me just take you of a tour inside this uh, code. We have a list of movies and this is just a data class. Inside here we found recycler view by its ID and then we apply the linear layout manager and adapter. To be able to do that we need an instance of the we need a singleton actually of the callback and we need to store its value inside the val i will call it swipe to delete callback and it will equal to an object which extends swipe to delete callback and we have an error because we need to implement some methods and we only have a single method on swipe and this will actually be called when the user swipe some item from the list and we need to get the position first because we need to remove it from our list or movies list right here and we can find this by calling view holder dot adapter position so now we have found the position of the item that should be deleted we can call our movies list, movies list, and call remove that and pass in the position. Then we must call the recycler view adapter and call notify item removed and pass in the position which item should be removed. And we need a question mark right here. So now we have the callback instance. Let's go ahead and tell the recycler view to use it. And we will need an instance of the item touch helper touch helper and we can get it by calling item touch helper constructor 
I'm passing our singleton swipe to delete a callback right here. Then we can actually call the item touch helper again and attach it to the recycler view. And we need to pass in our recycler view, which is recycler view. And this should wrap things up. Let's go ahead and run it. So now, as you can see, we can actually swipe and the item will be deleted or swipe left or even right in both directions we can actually delete the item so this is how easily you can implement a swipe to delete inside your recycler view thanks for watching if you like the video don't forget to like and subscribe and turn on the notification so you don't miss any videos don't forget to follow me on instagram linkedin have a nice day